YouTube, what it do, baby? We are back with another video, man. If you're new to the channel, please make sure to hit that subscribe button. I greatly appreciate it. It's free and it helps me out a ton, man. Um, but anyway, season three is finally here. We've been waiting for so long. Oh my gosh, it feels like it's been forever, eternity wait on waiting on this bad boy. Um, let me know if I'm just crying or if this stuff gets super dry super fast. But anyway, I'm gonna be giving you guys these top five best class setups that you can run here in Cold War multiplayer. I know they added the PPSH. I'm not gonna put in this top five class setup right now. I will make a new video and a best class setup for this PPSH, explaining how I feel about it, but I don't wanna just throw it in there for you guys right away. I will update a video uh, here in the near future if it is up there in that top five, which hopefully it is. Uh, but anyway, I'm gonna be showcasing through these top five class setups for you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoy. I don't wanna waste too much of your time, but I'll see you guys in the class setups. Peace. YouTube. Here are the class setups, baby. I know you guys are waiting for this. Um, I probably could have done 10, but I wanted to stick it to five because 10 class setups is a lot to, uh, to run in multiplayer, guys. Uh, I try to stick to three, four, five weapons that I'll use just depending on play style, what map I'm playing, etc. right? You guys get the point for that. And um, But anyway, here we go. Let's jump into it. The first one I want to cover, I just ran this the other day and made a video on it. And it's one of my favorite class setups I've ever ran for the, for the AK-74U. I know it got nerfed a while back, but it, is it good? Yes, it's unreal. And I'm going to give you guys this class setup. So I'm running the cool variant that you get for it. It's, uh, I forgot what variant, collector's item, uh, ultra variant, which is really cool. And we have diamond camel on it. So we're running five attachments. I'll go through my perks. I'll go through all that good stuff for you guys. So for the muzzle, we're running a uh, groove suppressor, which is plus uh, seven vertical recoil control and plus 100% muzzle flash concealment. Okay, that is for the muzzle. For the barrel, we are, we are running VDV reinforced barrel, which is effective damage range and plus 80% bullet velocity. Okay, and then no body. Then for the under under barrel, we're running the Spetnaz speed grip, which is plus 10 sprinting move speed. It's an SMG. Uh, first of all, you want that movement speed as good as you can get it. And then we have horizontal recoil control. Uh, horizontal recoil control is very important to cover because obviously that's harder to uh, control than vertical. Vertical straight up, straight down. You just got to move down on the analog stick to control vertical, right? Horizontal is a whole different ball game. And that's, that makes or breaks a weapon. So this is very important. Um, for magazine, VDV 50 round mag. If you want to move a little bit quicker, you could go 40 round speed mag or just 40 round mag in general. Okay, that is up to you, but I prefer the 50 round mag so I can lay down some fire as much as possible. And then for the handle, running the Gru Elastic Wrap, which is ADS speed. That is basically the main reason why I'm running this, plus 30% for ADS speed, which is pretty dang good. Okay, and then we're going to go into uh, the next one. And oh, I'll go into my stem. All my uh, tactical, lethal, and field upgrade are the same. So I'll just knock this out really quick. I have stem shot, C4, and field mic for the uh, upgrade. I've never ran anything other than this. I don't even know if it, something's better. Just being honest, I haven't tried anything other than these. Okay, since Cold Wars came out. So then for the perks, these are crucial. Flag jacket obviously helps with explosive damage. Tactical mask, uh, very crucial, you know, uh, stun grenades, flash grenades, etc. cetera. Uh, then we have a scavenger, quartermaster, and then we have ghosts and gung-ho, okay? Uh, you could have cold-blooded, you could have ninja. Okay, gung-ho, I like sprinting while reloading uh, just because I'm rushing a lot. So that's why I prefer that, okay? Those are the, uh, that's the attachments and that's the perks for that weapon. Next is one of my all time favorite weapons here in Cold War, even before the buff. Okay, as you can see, I have eight attachments on this bad boy and you guys are absolutely gonna love this class setup and you're gonna drop a nuke with it. Like the video for uh, nuke luck. I know you guys are gonna get one with this setup right here. Uh, for the Milano, we are running the Microflex LED. I run that because your field of vision is a lot better through this like a lot of them are very small circles for the uh for the red dot this one's open and kind of like a, a nice little shape you can see a lot more while adsing uh with this milano uh microflex okay and then for the uh muzzle we have muzzle break nine which does vertical recoil control and you guys are like why this one maybe something better uh maybe you you could be right there could be something better for this but it's plus four percent recoil uh, vertical recoil control, which there's no cons. That is the most important part. No cons to this. And then we have the barrel. We have the task force barrel, which is plus five damage, plus 50% effective damage range, and plus 75% uh, bullet velocity. 
those pros outweigh the cons, which is vertical and horizontal recoil control. Negative. But I'm telling you, once you figure it out, it's going to be unbelievable, guys. And for the body, uh, steady aim laser, no pro, uh, no cons to this, just plus 14% hip fire accuracy. Okay, no cons to that at all. Uh, for the under barrel, no cons for this as well. Okay, we have movement speed, sprinting move speed, shooting move speed and aim walking movement speed okay bruiser grip run it for an smg it's ideal okay uh, for the magazine salvo 55 round fast mags ads speeds minus but we covered that with our other attachments but everything else is awesome for the handle airborne elastic wrap right here we just out outdid the magazine we're plus 30 percent uh, for ads speed so we add five more percent to our ads speed overall okay and then for the stock run raider stock which is sprint Okay, guys, I'm going to jump into this Krig, which is one of my favorite weapons as well for an AR. Uh, for the Optic, optic Microflex LED, uh, for the Muzzle, Muzzle Break 5.56, and these attachments do the same thing, really, so I'm not going to jump into these and show you. So they're all really no cons to all of these, okay? For the barrel, we have Ranger Barrel, 100% bullet velocity, okay? Very important for this weapon to hit hard. Uh, body, Steady Aim Laser, no cons. Under barrel, bruiser grip, no cons, better movement speed. Okay, it's very key. Salvo 55, uh, 50 round fast mag for the uh, for the magazine, which is just negative ADS speed. Okay, uh, handle airborne elastic wrap, same as the last weapon, plus 30% ADS speed. We already covered that magazine. And for the stock, Raider stock, better movement speed. Guys, this class up's amazing. Definitely try it out. LC10, still a very good weapon. No optic. For the muzzle running the muzzle brake 0.45 APC, which is no cons. You guys see the catch here. No cons makes your weapon godlike. Try it out. You guys are going to just trust me on this. Try it out. Uh, barrel, reinforced heavy barrel. I love the reinforced or the ranger on all my weapons. Uh, effective damage range, bullet velocity, steady aim laser, no cons. Bruiser grip, better movement speed. Magazine, 52 round fast mag, just slower um, ADS speed. But everything else is awesome. Then the handle, we cover that up with the airborne elastic wrap plus 30% ADS speed for the stock Raider stock better movement speed it's repetitive right that is key and that's why these class lives are very very good uh, for the last one we have the mp5 I know the stoner could have been in here there's several other weapons that could have got to this list but I, these are ones I prefer running and I think are very good uh, last one right here mp5 muzzle muzzle break nine no cons plus vertical recoil control barrel reinforced heavy barrel bullet velocity damage range uh, body, no body. Okay, we're running five attachments. And then for the under barrel, bruiser grip, better movement speed, magazine, 40 round fast mags, and then handle airborne elastic wrap. So that is the setup for you guys. And that for that, we run flag jacket the same as our first class setup with the AK 74U. Okay, everything is the same. But yeah, man, that is my top five class setups and weapons that you can use here in Cold War if you want to do crazy you know, high kill games, nukes, all that good stuff here in multiplayer. Let me know if you guys enjoy these class ups. Let me know if you rock them, man. Shoot me a tweet, comment down below, all that good stuff. If you use these class ups, maybe we'll run some games. Just let me know. If you guys drop a nuke, show me proof, man. We'll run some games. So anyway, hopefully you guys enjoy. Smash that like, hit the subscribe button down below, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.